good morning so i just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys so there is a new foundation that is coming out next month okay so i haven't actually got a tube yet because i don't know what shade i am so i did one better and i got some samples like a lot of samples but these four are the lightest ones i think so we're gonna have a look today and we're gonna see what they're like um but i'm gonna go and finish prepping first so i am using my distillery which is nearly gone I need to replace this and i'm just gonna pop a few drops in my hand and use my c shot um i've already cleansed so i don't need to worry about that i just need to apply the rest So unfortunately you guys get my ugly mug until it's all beautified. Let me just stick my hair up a minute. So it's out of my way. And then I'm going to go in with the shade the day face uh, day cream. I'm just going to apply a few drops. drops and then I'm just gonna rub that in okay and I'm gonna use this as my makeup base because it does act as a fantastic makeup base so let's have a look at these shades shall we um okay what color is that one i don't think i'm a walnut okay so we've got natural creamy can't get them open okay so i'm just gonna pop some on my arm and then you can all see the colors Oh, I should have grabbed some scissors. These suckers don't open. <laughs> okay, we've got some. It still doesn't want to part, look. Okay, let's have a quick... So that one is ivory. I'll show you guys this in a minute. So this one is light nude. Let me just move that down a little. I think that one might be a little bit too light. And then this one is natural beige. Usually I am white ivory so it's going to be interesting to see Ooh, this one seems to be oh there it is yeah no, that, that's too much i think okay so can you see these shades i know i've got seriously bad arms haven't i so i'm just gonna give them a mix <sighs> see which one okay so the the light porcelain seems to be the one that is going to work the best um so we'll give that one a go pop that down there so i'm just gonna go in first of all with my concealer obviously i've just wiped it on my face but it doesn't matter and i'm just gonna hide these spots rid of my bags and then I'm going to as you can see I have recycled my old distillery tub and it keeps my makeup sponge damp which is, I think is great I love it I think they're really nice containers and I didn't want to just throw it out so 
I didn't. Okay, so now it's going to be the tester to see if this one patch, this just this one packet is going to be enough to cover my entire face. But we'll find out. What's that TikTok now when they say that about the shapeshifters that they'll tell the church? Okay, I'm just going to cut along the edge because I do want to try and get all of this out of the packet if I can. Um, obviously it doesn't want to separate today. I'm kind of like expecting to take my fingers off if I'm honest. Okay, so I'm just going to blob it as soon as I'm trying to get it out. Okay. Just do that. Don't, don't copy that, obviously. Okay, so. It smells quite nice, actually different okay so we're just gonna go in and I'm just gonna spread this about it's probably too much actually in the packet now that I've got it on my face but we'll see how we go with the coverage And then I'm just going to wipe some on my sponge and I'm just going to blot it in the areas that need it blotting. Cover up the news. You get quite a bit in the pack actually. And it goes everywhere. Just, you know. But it is only a tester, so it's good to know that I didn't order one. That I didn't wasn't sure, because otherwise I would normally have just gone for beige or um, ivory, because that would have normally have been the colour that I am, um, and that that is the colour that I am. I am actually light ivory in the power stay, um, and the true colours um, foundation too. Both of them are light ivory. But this one is light porcelain. Um, I have to excuse all the scratches. Um, the rats had a field day the other day. And there was fighting on my neck. So it's all good. Okay. So I'm just going to go back in. And I'm just going to cover up these lines with some more mascara. This is the this is the Mark Matte. Um, and I am just going to try and hide these a little bit better. tiring being a mum who doesn't get to sleep <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to block that in that line just to hide that bag a little bit better I could have gone in with some um, lipstick or pink blush or an orangey shade with blush just to hide those bags a little bit better um, but I thought that the concealer would do a good enough job this morning so um we're doing that instead okay so that is the coverage from the new this is the new one and it's just called flawless um i think it's done all right so far let's see how it continues to go shall we okay so um next i'm going to apply the pow my loose powder this is in shade ivory so this might not look too great and I'm going to use one of my fan brushes this might actually go a bit yellow now because we're very pale today Oh, 
Hopefully it doesn't turn me yellow. I'm not putting overly too much on my brush. I'm literally just taking some and tapping it out in my lid. And I'm literally just using that. That's all I'm using because I don't want to over color it because they are different shades and I don't want to I don't want you to really see it massively that much just scrape that back in there you don't waste it okay so let me just okay so we're gonna go in for the eyes and I'm going to use the magic primer the eye primer um, that's literally how it looks and I just use my finger and then I fill in the crease it's actually more than enough to do both eyes there and I'm just dabbing it on it's just easier than having than using a brush um, and it just fills in the creases nicely And then I'm going to go in with my Playbook Supreme and I'm going to use it as contour because it is just easier than pulling out more creams when I've already powdered. chisel it out a little bit and then we attempt to slim down the nose okay so now we're just gonna blend that in just using my blending tool um, just to get that in there Oh, that's a nice breeze. <laughs> and then not forgetting the nose. Okay, let me see. Gonna take it down the neck. And then I'm gonna go in with the same palette and I'm gonna use um, Crave as my lightener. So I'm just gonna bring some down the nose. You can't really see that, can you? And I'm gonna take it under my eye. I'm gonna take quite a bit under my eye because you can still kind of see that bag um, so let's try and hide that and under my cupid's bow okay okay so that is that um, and we'll go back in with that when I'm just going to do the, a bit of shimmer under the eyes but for now we're going to move on to the eyes okay so i'm using the smaller palette today so this is the eyeshadow palette 18 one um and this is what it looks like so we're going for blues um blues pinks browns it's pretty much an all-in-one kind of palette um i am going to go in with my brushes when i find it I think it's rolled off. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this tip and I'm going to start doing the crease. So we're going to go in with what we're going to go in with. I'm going to go in with the lighter one for the crease. 
I'm going to take it just above my crease because I do have, um, are they called bagged lids? I'm not sure what they're called, what the term is, but um, when I, I need lifting so that I don't have the massive crease. And apparently there's a certain way that you do, the, that you can do your makeup that can give you the effect that you have the lift. So we're giving it a try anyway. I'm going to do both eyes at the same time in the hopes that I don't mess them up. And again, I'm just going to take it above the crease. And hopefully there'll be less of a crease there. And then I'm going to go in with a darker colour on the outsides and I'm going to go into the lighter one on, on the in. So we will start with the darker one. Again, I'm just taking it just above that crease. Uh, pack it in a little bit because I want to see the colour. I'm not really worried about overflow because it'll tidy up when I blend. Oh, other than that. So I'm not going to take it all the way under the eye. I'm just going to take it just a little bit there. And I'm just going to make it dark there okay so we have the dark blue it is like a really deep navy Okay, so that one does seem a little bit darker, doesn't it? So I'm just going to go back and put some more on that one. Maybe it's just the way that the sun is. And I'm going to use a bit of paper just to clean my brush off and then I can go in for the lighter shade. So I'm going to go for this one here. And I'm just going to take this one into the corner. And it doesn't matter Ooh, wrong one how much we mess it mess it, mess it up because we're gonna go in with our blending brush the smaller one and um, we're gonna just give them eyes a little bit something softer okay so this is my blending brush you can see the angle there and I'm just gonna sweep it across actually okay so where did my brush go Just putting some light on again just to make it a more prominent light colour. I'm 
and then I'm gonna go in with a bit of a pink in the corners and the bottom okay oh it's warm today take them eyebrows up have to excuse the caterpillars they do need fixing but I have to wait for that and then I'm going to take my brow pencil this is in white brown and, and there we go it's literally just the square thing okay and I'm just defying defining um, the line so that they, they don't look as bushy them look more organized I suppose is the word I'm looking for and I'm just gonna brush that out so there's no harshness like I said though they do need attention like desperately I'm not sure where my lids for that's gone but okay and then I'm going to use the um, five in one mascara. This is absolutely the best mascara that I, I own. I love this mascara. I would definitely recommend it if you're wanting volume. Um, and it's just it's just amazing mascara. It really is. And its brush is a very spiky. I don't know whether you can see that. It's a spiky brush. It actually has little spikes right on the tip too, so you can really get in there. Um, but yeah, let's let's give it a go. Move that hair because it always gets in the way. The faces that we pull when we do our makeup is just hilarious, am I right? Looking for a particular brush. Give me a second. Just want to blend that in a little bit. Anything that I might have missed in that line. Okay, so you can tell which one. Okay. I'm not going to build it up too much because I do like that it doesn't clump. Um, but I don't also I don't like these big massive eyebrow eyelashes either. Let me see how Okay. Let me just get rid of that. See the difference there. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see it. Um, just give it a bit of a wiggle. Make sure you got it on the bottom and the top of the lash. And then you're colouring it, aren't you? Don't do that. I hate when I get that too thick. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna
it'll cover it's fine so I'm gonna go in with my green glimmer stick just to give my eyes a little bit more extra um, let's have a look Blend out that line a little bit there so it's not as harsh. Okay, so that is our eyes. Now I'm gonna go back to the Supreme palette and I'm just gonna get some um, il il uh, elusive, impulsive, because that's the shimmery one. And I'm just gonna place it on this top corner here. I'm not going to worry too much at the minute about blending it and then I'm just going to um, and then I'm just, just going to blend that in better there. Okay, let's see. A little bit much that side, so we'll just spread that out. Okay, so with that, I am just gonna apply some lip oil because I don't really feel like I'm in the mood for the full on coverage today. So I'm just gonna use a nude pencil, lip pencil, just to highlight. I'm just going to use the nude pencil, hide that lip line, and then I'm going to, this is the Blossom, this is the one without the sparkles, and this, this lip oil is truly amazing and it tastes really nice too. I've had a fair few lip glosses in my time that I like to taste that one, mm, beautiful. Okay, so although the hair is quite today, that is the new coverage. That's the coverage from the new foundation. It's pretty good really, isn't it? And I like that the powder didn't make it too orange. It just looks makes me look a bit tanned in areas. So that is the new foundation. You will have to let, let me know um, in the comments if you would like a sample. Um, I can get these samples this month and I can pop them in with your orders if you would like one. Um, they are 60 pence a sample. So do let me know. Uh, they are amazing though. I do must admit it's gone on really light. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, feels quite nice. There we go. Thanks, guys.